So let's take a look at an alternate way of viewing the shared responsibility model. And this is the way AWS and Azure does it. And the reason I wanna show it to you is because it's a lot more uh, 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 encompassing of everything that the cloud can offer you, whereas the Google shared responsibility model is really focused on the application. So you can really tell they're developers, right? But it's important for you to understand the full scope. So we have the customer and we have GCP. So GCP is responsible for the hardware and the global infrastructure. So the regions, right? Uh, you know, like the everything that has to do with regions, uh, the zones, and zones is a collection of data centers within a region, and the fault domains. Fault domains is um, a logical isolation isolation of uh, hardware that's within a data center, and then there's the physical security of the data center. They're responsible for that as well, right? Then you have software. So uh, this breaks down to the core four. So you got your compute, your storage, your database, and your networking. Now onto the um, customer side, there's the configuration of managed services or third-party software. So that could be platforms, applications, IAM. IAM is a big one. That's a huge, huge component for customer responsibility. Configuration, configuration of virtual infrastructure and systems. So operating systems, the network, firewall. So I noticed you see networking down below. So we're talking about the actual like routers and switch and things like this. And up here, this is like cloud networking, okay? This is like, I want to create a VPC uh, and I want to have these subnets in it and I want to use these cloud networking services, but you're not really dealing with lower level software like setting up the, the switch or the router or things like that, okay? Then you have security configuration of data. So, uh, you know, whether to use client side data encryption, whether you are, whether you're using server side encryption, whether you turned it on, what type of encryption you want to use, protecting the, the network traffic. So whether you're monitoring it and put any other kinds of controls to say, okay, who is allowed to see what and your customer data, that's a big one, okay? So yeah, this is basically the AWS um, uh, and Azure way of looking at, or sorry, I said Azure, but it's more like AWS and Oracle. Azure actually has their own way. It's actually looks a lot more like this. And so there is they do on-premise, they put on-premise in the mix, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. And so they just break it down to here. And these are gonna look very, very, very similar to the Google's one. So you have applications, uh, data, runtime, middleware, OS, virtualization, server, storage, networking. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These almost, almost match up to the OSI uh, layer. That's the, uh, like the, the layers, like the application layer, the networking layer, things like that. And so that's basically how Azure kind of does it. Uh, but it just helps you to see the names in a different way. So you can see there's still data. There's no mention of like access controls, but it's just assumed that if you have an application responsible for it, uh, you know, things like that. Okay. So hopefully that gives you a really clear understanding of the shared responsibility model.